Hi, this is the video series of the Honey Bee Diagnostic Lab at the USDA in Beltsville, Maryland. My name is Umberto Boncristiani and welcome to InsideTheHive.tv, the show that takes you into the world of bees. In this video series, we're, going, we're talking about a lot of a lot of different things related with diagnostic, uh, American fowl brood, European fowl brood, anything related with uh, bee diseases. We're going to be discussing in this video series. In the video number one, we talked about how to send samples of adult bees for the diagnostic. If you miss it, that one, I encourage you to stop right here and, and watch that one first. And there is a lot of nice information for you there. There is a, a link, I'm gonna put the link in the, in the corner right here. But in this video, the video number two, we're gonna be talking about how to send samples of brood and all the disease and discuss all the diseases involved on that. Uh, I hope you enjoy. I hope this can be useful to someone. If you're new to the channel, please uh, consider to subscribe if you enjoy the things we're talking about here. And before further ado, let's jump into the video. Now, if you have suspicions of disease of brood, Sam, how are you supposed to send the samples to the USDA? Yeah, so, so yeah, it can be complicated at times, okay. but, um, but what we recommended is that if you can, you want to cut a two by two inch. So if you have a, a frame, you got a frame, so got a frame that you have disease on. Yeah, you think that you're seeing some sign of disease where you've seen a dead brood, dead the brood open cells, open cells. Uh, you can see like, you know, perforated, you know, mm -hmm. cells, cells, or they have, you know, ones that have some pinholes on them, pinholes on them. and, you know, you think that the, the brood pattern is not as nice and even as it's supposed to be, um, it looks like something off, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, you may want to send in a comb, what, what you want to do is, is to carefully cut a two by two inch from the area, the, the broad, area. broad chamber area. So where you're seeing those symptoms of disease, okay. right? You want to cut it two by two inches of that area. From the comb, from the comb itself. From the brood from area. The broad don't area. get honey area. No don't honey, get pollen no pollen. Area. Yeah, exactly. Brood. Brood, brood area. The brood area, okay? All right. And a two by two inch, it's, it's actually like that. somewhere about this size. This is a two by two inch yeah, so comb. Finger by the two, finger. Two by two. Yes, depending two on how long two. your finger is, but a two by two we approximate just a like that. Your index finger size. So, importantly, yes. need to be the brood area. There yes. are, happens a lot. They receive honey. Yeah. They receive pollen. We cannot or, diagnose much with that yeah. part of the brood. Or if you don't have any brood present in it. Okay. There's no way for us to actually test because our tests depend on the brood, what we see, the symptoms the of the symptom. brood, and then we sample that in the dead brood. In the dead brood. So if you don't have any brood present in the comb, we're not going to make it. To make it we're not going to able to uh, make a test, a diagnosis test, okay. and get a conclusive a test actually. So virtually we, we can't conduct any test if you don't have any brood okay. for us to sample. So make sure you, you send brood. Brood. brood, not empty cells, not but empty. you need dead brood. Yes. Okay. And once you're able to actually cut, cut. you can use a knife, a hot knife, mm -hmm. any suitable cutting equipment, that you can. I know plastic is very difficult foundation to to cut, cut through. Okay. Yes, but um, if you can, you can do that. Now, other option would be just to to actually sample yourself. Okay. A dead brood, dead brood or larva that's symptomic of disease. Okay. Um, I know that will also maybe not easily determined. But you can carefully look at what are you seeing, uh, you know, like, you know, the, the cells, you see a dead larva, dying larva, just corn in developing stage. Or are you seeing a scale in there that could be potentially American fibro? Okay. Or you can see um, ones that they have a hint of yellow, but just coil mm -hmm. in, the, in the cell. And if you see something like that sporadically all over, maybe you want to sample that and how you do that and basically what you want to do is you can get like a, a q-tip swab and actually uh, what you want to do is just just look at a cell 
that you think you have a brew that have disease, in, a, in any case, what you want to do is just take the swab and just carefully um, select the cell and just actually swab in. Swab in, so yeah. clean it up. Clean get it up. Get all the tissues. Yes. All the brood. All the brood and the, the, the liquid. As possible, liquid, everything that's in the cell and supposed to do something like that. Okay. So that's uh, this is what we we'll, we call a smear sample. A smear sample. And yes. what do you do with that? So basically, once you already get to your smear, what you want to do is you can get that, wrap it on any loose paper. Could be you know regular newspaper, mm, newspaper, or, or you know just uh, any any loose paper. Loose paper. Okay. Basically, just um, wrap it in there. Okay. Now you can you can send it, and for this you wanna you can send it in, in padded envelope, right. even though it's you know all the smear. But you can also send it in, in padded envelope. Okay. Okay. So you recommend this kind of envelope yes. with, with padding, pad with pad inside. inside. Right. Okay. Just in case it get crushed or it get you know damage on the damage. Way, you know that protect the sample protect the a little sample. bit more. Yeah. So you put that in there. And also, if you you know have a note, you can just you know put your notes, your n name, name all the information. information, and fold that and put it inside as well. Now, it's important not to wrap the samples with the sa the information. With the information. The program. And also, one thing we didn't mention. Also, you want to label okay. the sample, and especially if you have more than one sample. You want to make sure that you identify with how you collect the sample from, so we can reference that back to you. So whatever information you want to give it, mm -hmm. label information. So you know, um, typically people would just um, that send in sample would just say hive number, hive number one, two, whatever number one, two, three, or sample number one. All that is actually okay. Okay. Now, in terms of the comb, actually, so this is one, um, well, let's just finish the smear. Yes. So what you can do also, um, once you get your smear, you can also just um, spread it on a paper. Okay. Like that. Just get the, just get the, the liquid just that you... Get, yeah, so if you go back to what we just did, right, once you, you collect your sample, sample. Okay, you can just the smear it on the paper. Yeah, paper. Or if you use a Q-tip swab, usually people just use a, you know, beekeepers or inspector use a Q-tip swab and just smear that. But we actually just prefer just setting the probe that yeah. you use. Okay. Don't try to smear it again on a paper. It's just best because it contains much of the more material, material. More material. Yeah, then just kind of spread it in on a, on a paper. So you just send it out, you know. Okay. And once you get this paper, the rapid, what, what should you do? Put in an envelope? Put it in an envelope it in. and send it in. Together with the information. Together with the information. Now, before we move any further, if you're not unsure of what you're saying and, you know, questionable, you know, no, 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 which of the broad that you're saying may contain any disease or not, it's just best to just cut the 2 by 2 inch comb. So when you're not sure what you're saying and you yeah. need a more deep yeah. analysis so you can see what you're saying, well, yeah. send a little piece of comb from the brood chamber, two two from the brood chamber, chamber area that contain brood. And the Very signs important. of disease. Signs of disease. And brood. And brood. Dead brood or Dead, disease dying of brood. brood, cap, dying brood. on cap. As long as you have brood in there that looks symptomic of any disease. Um, we're stressing it. that because it happens many, many times. People yes. send the, the, with, comb, with with the comb without empty. nothing, empty yeah. comb, yes. or with honey or with pollen. Oh, yeah. But they need the larvae, they need the pupa, the whatever is it. Uh, so otherwise, they cannot do the diagnostic. Yes, yeah, so the diagnostics depends on root sample. Okay. Yeah. So once you get it, same way. Same way, wrap it up in, in a, a loose leaf loose paper. paper. It doesn't have to be any specific type of paper. 
Uh, we sometimes also recommend newspaper because maybe that's regularly available. But well, Batchman, okay. you know, butcher paper can also do the same trick. Okay. Okay. So you want to wrap it and label and label it again. Just give them any label information. information. And the comb will recommend sending it in a box. Any small box. Okay. So you know, take your. I can. I understand that. Yeah. Because and then if you the box. if you send it that in an envelope, in an envelope it's gonna be crushed. It's gonna be crushed. And then it's gonna make your life make much, much, much harder. Much harder because we're not gonna be able to actually visually, you know, um, look at the cells and then trying to find the root the fruit, that's symptom the pattern, and everything pattern. that's there. Yes. Because the or even first to quit, sample. Even to sample. Yeah. Because the first. Most important thing we do is actually look at the cells and try to select a disease so root. Yeah. So now, if it's get crushed, it takes away yeah, that ability it's gonna to be do hard it. and it's make it much much difficult. Difficult. Um, there are other ways we can actually look at it, but it's much 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 easier when it, the the comb is intact. Is it intact. So yeah. get a box. Get a box, box. Small box. And send it. In. Send now, it. sometimes you know people may like this. Toss it in a, in a bag, in like a bag, a brown bag, or any other bag. That will work too. Just you know, just toss the sample in and just wrap it in. Yeah. And also, but I think that's going to be the same problem with the envelope. Same problem, right? envelope. Yeah. So the recommendation will be a box. Yeah. That well, then if, if you don't want to put it in, you know, if you don't want to wrap it in papers and other thing, you can put it in a on an envelope. Like, excuse me. <coughs> and then. Put it in a box. Oh, okay. <coughs> and then just put it in a box. Okay. Yes. And just keep it out to us in a box. And no this will work just fine. All right. Yes. Got it. All right. Thank you, Sam. All right. Let's move on for the next step. <laughs>